Even if he did survive, he couldn't have got far. My men know every inch of this countryside. As well as they know this castle. My lord, no man has escaped this castle for the last 15 years. Somebody has, and not just any somebody, but a very particular individual. Tell. William Tell. Yes. And you know what that means? By rights, I should throw you off this tower and into the lake with him, but somehow that doesn't seem quite fair. You might survive. Every cell has been opened. Ah, oh, then they've all got away. Most of them didn't have the strength to get very far. Only the ones we brought in today have escaped, five or six of them. But they're all on foot. We'll ride them down before sunset, my lord. Then there's nothing to worry about. My men are here. Come on, Warden. Let us look at the damage. Knife for a chicken. I was hungry, Ambrose. How many times do I have to tell you, Weevil? You're a highwayman, not a grocer. What are you gonna do now? Attack someone with a drumstick? I don't want to attack anyone, Ambrose. <laughs> Shh. Shh. What have we here? Looks like a drowned rat. Must have chewed his way out of Death Castle. Basic economics, Weevil. How much do you think he's worth? A copper penny? You never learn. If we take him all the way back, there'll be a fat reward. Shall we take him? No, we will. You take him. Find him, my lord. I'll make every man available. Oh, will you? Will you really? Did I ever tell you about the last warden we had here? No. No? Oh, it's a very interesting story, actually. It seems your predecessor was um, somewhat less scrupulous than you. His record was as good as yours. Fifteen years, not one man had escaped. But his death rate was much higher. I, of course, attributed this to a certain overzealousness in his <coughs> application of the rules. Zealousness? Yes. The truth was that for certain favors, usually monetary, he could arrange for a prisoner to leave in a coffin. Even when he was not dead, the family would then collect the body and only the boxes would be buried. Now, I am all for it enterprise, as long as it does not cut across my own sale of legitimate pardon. You see, the dispensation of pardons is one of the concessions so wisely granted by the emperor to his governors. Justice is too delicate a thing to be uh, left in the hands of mere wardens. However, my cousin failed to understand that. Your cousin was the Warden? Uh, my second cousin, actually. Mm. Yes. He also left in a box, except that he was buried in it, alive. Now, do you remember I made you a promise hmm? that I would hang someone if I did not hang William Tell? Now, never let it be said I am not a man of my oh, word. Oh, oh, but your Excellency, please. Your Excellency, no! no! <laughs> Thank you. 
Ah, oh, Tyrrell. Yes, my lord. I shall be looking for a new warden. My place is in the field with my... With the rest of your men. Oh, please, don't bore me with one of your discourses on the duties of the professional soldier. You're as ambitious as the next man. Well, most men, anyway. Oh, uh, when you catch up with the rebels, don't take any prisoners. Prisoners uh, would only slow us down, my lord. As for Tell... Tell I shall bring back alive. No. We'd only hang him. Don't take any chances. Kill him. Oh, and uh, Tyrrell, don't disappoint me. The warden disappointed me. I shall be looking for a new captain of the guard, once the rebels are caught. Then you shall have one very soon, Excellency. Under my son. He was following me with this. I had an arrow and I could have killed him. Simon. I had him dead in my sights. You be careful. He's just a child. He thinks it's all a game. He could have been hurt. I should be thanking you, I know. Do you want something to eat? How old are you? He's ten. Eleven. Almost eleven. And there's just the two of you? Now, yes. There used to be more. The carpenter, the blacksmith, their families. And my husband. What happened to him? Same thing that happened everywhere. You don't know, do you? Been away. Been in prison. Simon. It's a different world. They destroyed everything my husband and I had. They killed my father. Simon! What else is there to say? It all happened so fast. The soldiers rode in. They could hear their horses. They could hear their screaming outside. My husband was sitting where you are now. They burst through the door. There wasn't anything we could do. And then they killed all the men. Simon worshipped his father. But John never fought anyone in his life. He was a potter. It doesn't make any sense. Where'd you get the crossbow? I don't know where he found it. He thinks it's a toy. He's not even big enough to use it. I suppose one day he will be. weapon. It's my father's. Your father's? 
He was a soldier then, your father? Yeah, he was. You should have seen him that day. He must have killed six or seven guys before they got him. Maybe more. He taught me. He told me I had to learn to fight for what was mine. I'm afraid that's true. Maybe your father didn't have a chance to tell you everything he wanted to. Yeah, you have to know how to fight. But you also have to learn how to live without that heart full of hate. Your mother tells me your father knew that. I wish I'd known him. <laughs> Find your arrow. just weren't quick enough. Yeah, you ran away quick enough. You let me down. No matter. We have to consider basic economics. In these days, highway robbery is the only answer. But there aren't any highways. Highways, byways, anyways. There's a killing to be made. Who's? The next people we meet will make our fortune. The next people? The next people. Yeah. They are soldiers, Ambrose. I can see that, Weevil. What do we do? We let me handle it. We are looking for an escaped prisoner. Tall, fair. Have you seen anybody? We might have. Ambrose. You say an escaped prisoner, my lord. I take it there would be a reward for information leading to his arrest. A reward? for services rendered, Your Worship. Whip them. Whip both of them. Then ask him again. John produced so many beautiful things with this. Now look at it. He did a good job on it. Oh, I've tried to rebuild it. There's only so much I can do. We could salvage the bricks. It'll be a lot of work. I don't even have the tools to fix the wheel. It's beyond repair. He needs a new pin. The river. The river. The river. What direction did he take from there? From southwest. There? Uh, southwest. Yes, definitely southwest. You sure it would tell? Absolutely sure. Uh, positive. We even tried to stop him, Your Excellency. But he stopped us. <laughs> Southwest. Mount up. Hey, what about us? They can't leave us here, Ambrose. It looks as though they can, Weevil.
you try. I can't stay, Isabel. They won't find you here. I have a wife and son of my own. I have to find them. My son, the last time I saw him, was a prisoner, too. He's a lot like Simon. His name's Matthew. Matthew. That's a nice name. Soldiers are crossing the river. It's not you. It's me they're looking for. Get in the house. Are you alone here? It's just the two of us. No man. You killed him already. Search the place. your boy. If you're lying to me, I'll kill him. And then you. Oh, no man. Down the place, sir! Oh. Simon. He's going to get some wood. He'll be back in a moment. You're really going? Yeah. The clothes look good on you. Thanks. I came to say goodbye. I don't need you here. I can take care of my mother. I'm sure. She's very lucky. 